Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I have for y'all just a few pieces that I picked up on Amazon. And I got some shoes that I wanted to show you that I paired with them. But these are gonna be some vintage inspired dresses. So today is actually my birthday and it's pretty late. I had to work all day today and I thought that I would bring y'all these pieces because y'all know how much I love vintage anything. So I really wanted to put this together for y'all. By the time you see this, my birthday will be yesterday, <laughs> but um, I am 43 now and it's been a really good year and I'm looking forward to the next. So, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So, since we're talking about vintage inspired dresses, I thought that I would add a few of my compacts. I've mentioned to y'all before that I do have quite a collection of vintage makeup compacts, so I think I might kind of just sprinkle them in as we go with this. Just a little hodgepodge of some of my favorite things. Um, so I was able to pick up, I wanted to show y'all, I did get some little hairpins. They're in perfect condition. I got them off of Etsy and they're just the cutest, so they are the invisible hairpins, the original box, as y'all can see. I just love trying picking up little things like this. It's just kind of exciting, but they're all in there right here. And I just wonder who owned them or who had them, who, you know, bought an extra box and just stuck them in a drawer somewhere. So there, there they are, just your little little invisible pins but I just thought these were so cute and I love the box they're just I don't know it just makes me happy to have stuff like this because I bet my grandma had some at the same time so these are World War II era and on the back of them they say star hairpins and star stands for save hairpins tanks and airplanes require metal so this was more of a war bond type thing so i just love having these i just think they're so cute and thankfully etsy has so many different pieces that just jump out at me and i just love it so now we're going to talk about the first dress so again they all came from amazon they're all different vendors or drop ship or something but I just picked four favorites and here we are so I'm just gonna sprinkle in some other stuff as we go but this one is the black and white gingham dress it is just the cutest cutest I love this one so for this one I got the 1XL and all of these will be linked down below well except for the vintage stuff you know that's one of those needle in a haystack kind of things but the dresses, I have a few pairs of shoes that I want to show you. Those will all be with Amazon links. They are affiliate links, so, you know, I just want to let y'all know that. But this video is not sponsored, nothing like that. Um, I just I just wanted to shop a little bit on my own. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, again, I went with a 1XL in this one. A sweetheart neckline is just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know why, it just has, it just makes your, you just feel so much more feminine. And I love the little turned up sleeve here. It kind of reminds me of an old 50s diner waitress type dress right here. Just the sleeve part here. I just think it's so pretty. And you've got that little turnover here at the bust. The black trim along the neckline. And then that wider waistband here. And then you've got the black buttons. Now these are not functioning buttons, which I kind of like because you don't have to worry about them pulling open. And you do have a zip closure in the back. It is a hidden zipper. And this dress also has pockets. Y'all know I'm a pocket person. I know that not everybody is. People comment sometimes that, you know, they don't like pockets or it doesn't really make or break a piece for them. And it really doesn't make or break it for me. It's just an extra little treat, I think. I just think it's really nice because sometimes you don't know what to do with your hands. So I <laughs> just put them in my pocket. So this one is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I will say that this one is a little bit more on the thinner side. It's not see-through. You can't, I mean, if you wear the appropriate undergarments, you won't be able to see through this. I had on nude everything underneath and you couldn't see any of it. I love the bust line in this one and that, that 
the waist just brings you in. You do have bust starts and the seams right here at the bust. It just brings everything in. There's very little stretch to this one, so definitely go by your measurements. I do have a video on here showing you how to measure yourself. I filmed it a couple years ago, but I will link that down below just to kind of help you out with your measurements if you're not sure how to measure yourself. But I loved this dress. It's really comfortable. You could always put a petticoat under it. I would have, but the one that I have doesn't fit. It's just way too big at this point. And um, so I need to get another one. So I am on the hunt for them, but they can be very expensive. So paired with this gingham dress, I had on some little black T-strap heels. Y'all have seen them tons of times before. They are from Dream Pairs and they are sold on Amazon. So I will have the link to these down below. Um, I do store all of my shoes. Somebody mentioned that one time like that I put them back in the box and everything. I don't know what other people do with their shoes. I just don't have room to like display them at the, right now at least. Um, so I do keep everything in their original packaging just because I love these little shoe bags that most of them come with, but I always package them back up. So I always put this back in there because I don't want them to get bent up and warped or anything. And I always, I don't know, I just, everything you need is in the box that it came in. So. You know, and I'm not really big on having a bunch of acrylic bins everywhere. That's just not, I don't know. The box is fine. It's just fine. But I don't do shoe displays either, so that might be why. <laughs> but these are the T-strap shoes. So they have a little bit of sparkle on them and lace. And they're just really cute, comfortable. I have a couple of different pairs of these. I know y'all have seen them before. Again, they'll be linked down below. But I thought these were really cute to pair with this gingham dress. Um, I do wear them with the next dress that you're about to see. See, I just put them right back in, in here. I have everything. I even still have the little, they send you a little pack of sequins to go. I don't know how you would put them back on the shoe, but they do send a pack of sequins too. But yeah, everything you need is in, in here. So these will be paired with the next dress that you are about to see. So before we take a look at the next dress, I wanted to show y'all another one of my compacts. It is a work in progress. So I, once I find some time between work and here and everything else, um, I am going to actually sit down and work on this one. I did, my daddy helped me pick out the right enamel for this because a lot of the paint has come off. So I just need to, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just looking at some YouTube videos of people that restore these just so that I don't mess it up. Um, but this one is actually World War II as well. I'm, I'm a little bit of a World War II fanatic. I, I just, the whole, I don't know, I, I guess because I grew up raised by my grandparents who lived through it. My grandpa served in World War II. My grandmama was a war bride. I mean, you know, so it's just kind of ingrained in me. So every year, well, twice a year, I think, is our, our tradition. So twice a year, we do take a weekend and we just rewatch Band of Brothers. And it's just become our tradition. It's just what we do. But um, I just, I, I love to read about it and watch documentaries about it you know so and i'm also obsessed with that with the lifestyle at that time just the you know what were the women doing what were they wearing what you know their makeup and all of you know it's just really interesting to me so i just i don't know i think it just makes me feel closer to my grandmama but you know it's just part of who i am now <laughs> but this particular compact so it is a cody compact right here now, as y'all know, Cody owns tons of fragrance companies and some makeup companies now. Not the greatest reputation nowadays as far as, you know, ingredients, animal testing, and all of that. So, I don't really buy a lot of Cody products now, but they, they ruled. It was Max Factor, Cody, Elizabeth Arden. At that time, they were, you know, the companies, the brands. So, I have this compact so this is their victory compact from cody and it is beautiful so as you can see the red white and blue has rubbed off a little bit there and then the red on the end is pretty much still intact um but it just needs to be refreshed a little bit but the stripes the red white and blue stripes here have rubbed off over time but all in all it's in a really good condition i got a good deal on this one i got it on ebay um the inside, 
not the best. So <laughs> the mirror is cracked right here in the corner. It does have the original powder in it and the original blush is there. So I do, I've cleaned it up a few times, but there's powder in here. I'm going to pop this open so y'all can see. There was a pressed powder in here at some point that broke and I just have little remnants of it now. But I just love this. I feel like it's just a piece of history and you cannot, they don't make stuff like this anymore. You get your hands on it and it's an original. So I just love having these, but this one, I cannot wait to get it back at least as close to its former glory as I can. So I just wanted to share this one with y'all before we look at the next dress. And now the next dress in this haul, I have a khaki square neck lapel dress. So here it is right here. Now, as y'all can see, it has re-wrinkled a little bit. I'm going to put up a picture of before I steamed this dress. I've never seen so many wrinkles in my life. I didn't think I was ever going to get these things out. I finally did, and they've pretty much stayed out except... I did have it, it was hanging up with some other clothes, so it did re-wrinkle right around here, but it's just that kind of material. So for this one, I got the extra, extra large. And now again, this is where your size charts come in. Go by your measurements, because you could be any size in any different one, you just never really know. So go by your measurements. So for this one, it is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So with this being mainly cotton, that's why it's wrinkling. Um, I know everybody loves cotton, but y'all, that stuff will wrinkle like you wouldn't believe. It just it just does, un unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you do have a little bit of stretch in this material, and I just love the black buttons. I love this lapel collar here. So this one had a little bit of a whack feel to me, and it's, you know, the Women's Army Air Corps during the war, so that's why I paired it with that Victory Compact. I just thought that it was a really good complement to this dress. So this one does have pockets. You have functioning buttons, so you have four black buttons up the front, a fitted waist, but again, a little bit of stretch in this one. You have the zipper up the back. I didn't need this because the neckline is a square. I really did not need that to put this on. I just pulled it over my head and wiggled it down and it was fine. So again, the only call out with this one is it does wrinkle pretty easy. So just be mindful of that. And it does come with a matching belt. So just your basic belt with the little grommet holes here. So I do show it with that original belt, but I also wanted to pair it with a black belt because I knew I was gonna wear those black T-strap heels and kind of play off those black buttons. So I just have this basic little black belt from Shein. I will link it down below. It was a four piece set. So, and I'll be honest, full disclosure, I did have to add a little hole right here cause it was a little bit on the small side. <laughs> So I did have to add a little hole on the end here, um, but it was beautiful. I, I think I prefer it with the black belt, but you could absolutely wear it as it comes with the matching khaki belt. So before we look at the next dress, I do have two compacts I wanted to show y'all. They're basically the exact same. These are styled after cameras, um, but they're just absolutely beautiful. So I do have the gold glitter one. I'm gonna try to get close so you can kinda see. I have the gold glitter one. And this one has the United States Air Corps emblem in the middle. Hopefully y'all can see it a little bit. It's in there. And then this one is the green enamel, kind of a marble pearlescent right here and this one is the u.s army emblem in the middle and i just think that these are so beautiful and so unique and just just special so how you open them it's kind of like changing a cartridge in, a ca in an old camera you push this and it pops open and look at the inside of this one now this one is the green pearlescent one so there is that. So you have your little original powder puff here with an original blush. It's all 1940s right there. Now I would not put this on my face. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, Erin Parsons has the best channel. I could watch her all day long, but she's brave enough to try stuff like the lipsticks and all of that. You know, y'all know that a lot of them have lead in them. 
and all of that. So if you are in, if you are getting into compacts like this, don't use the stuff that's already in them. <laughs> Just don't. You can always clean them out, pack your own makeup into them, and use them like it's brand new. But just don't use the original makeup that's in them. And then you pull this part open, and there's your original puff again. And you would have had your little pressed powder in there too. I'm always amazed at how small these are. Like, there's the back of the powder puff. It's kind of grimy, but it's okay. But I'm just amazed at how small these are. And they're just beautiful. So, there is your little Gary powder and blush set. But here's the other thing. So, you close this. And this is like the film roll. So you pull this out. Now this, one of them got stuck and I couldn't, I still have not been able to get it out. So it has a little dip in it right here. And if you don't catch it just right, it's really hard to get out. Like this might be the one. Oh no, I got it, I got it. So just like your film roll, you pull this out of that little hole here. And this would be your lipstick. Look how small <laughs> that was your lipstick. So I'm gonna try to, push it up and see if I can get it. Yeah, it's not going to budge, I don't think. I don't think it's going to come up. Oh. It looks like it was red. For the most part, most lipsticks were red at that point. Um, you know, so then you just put it right back in there and it locks into place. So that one is the pearlescent one. Now the glitter one, I wanted to show you, this is the original box. This is the Gary box for the compact. And if you see, there's some scribbly writing on the top. So it says, to Hazel from Charles. So I, I imagine this is what, you, what a, they're typically called a sweetheart compact. You'll see sweetheart pins, pillows, you name it, mostly brooches or lockets and compacts. That was the big thing, and pillows. So a lot of times you will find in vintage stores or online pillowcases that say mother. Sometimes you'll find sweetheart ones, but the sweetheart stuff was usually compacts, lockets, charm bracelets, and mainly brooches. There's tons of sweetheart brooches. I do have a few of them, and I just love them because I just wonder who who gave them to who. You know, what happened? Did they end up together? I just always like to pretend that they did. So whoever Hazel was, I'm sure she loved getting this from Charles. So again, this is the Air Corps, the U.S. Air Corps, and I love the glitter. For this to be, you know, from the 40s, it's got gold glitter. I don't know, there's just something feels so modern about that, and I love it. So this one is the exact same as the one you just saw. I'm going to lift it up because this one, you just push the button and it opens. This one, what's beautiful about this, it is completely unused. So it's never been used, which kind of makes me sad because Char Charles sent it to Hazel and it was never used. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to know. Um, but you have your original puff and then you've got the little piece of plastic right here over the, if y'all see, it's got the plastic. It's a little bit warped, but you got plastic over the blush. I'm going to put that back. You've got your unused little powder puff. And I'm gonna lift this up and it's completely clean where you would put your little pan of powder in here. So completely unused. So I just, I don't know, I think these are so beautiful and I love the fact that it's made just like a camera. I mean, it is just beautiful and the glitter is it, just gorgeous. So see, yep, this one, you can just pull it right out and your lipstick, oof. Ooh, that is, that is something else. Let me see. So if y'all can see, it's, it's in there. I mean, it's right there at the top because again, it's never been used. So I'm going to see, I'm just gonna, it's got, it's very patina, we'll say, on the inside of this, but I did get some of it. Oh, it's so pretty. So there is the lipstick color. It's a very pretty bright red. Yeah, so that's the lipstick color. So I just love these. So I wanted to share these with y'all because they're just so pretty and 
I just, I don't know. I love anything with a story behind it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and we're going to get to the next dress. And now for the next dress, we have this little ivory and green number here. And for this one, I went with the extra large. Hopefully it will, went with the extra large. Um, now I wore it like this. <laughs> I was, yeah, I think I had it like this, but I just realized it has this little loop right here so that you can pull. I'm gonna try to do it. Ignore all this. I'm gonna try to do this while I'm talking to y'all. So I just realized it had this little loop here and I was supposed to put the one side through there. I'm looking at the picture on my computer. So <laughs> that's how I figured out I did this wrong. So, and then you pull the other side through there and it makes a bow. I didn't really do it right. I'm just, I was just looking at the picture. I pulled the picture up and here I am thinking I look cute and I didn't have it right. But it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, that looks way better. So, um, in the try on part, now y'all know why I didn't have it on right. So, but I think it looked okay either way. It looked kind of like a sailor kind of thing, but it was supposed to look like this. So it was supposed to go through there and make this little bow, like kind of like that, but it was supposed to be this way. So I did not do that. But this one you have button front, all the way up the front of it. They are functioning as you can see. And I love that they have the matching ivory. They're covered buttons that goes with the trim of this dress. So again, I went with the extra large measurements, y'all. Measurements count. Um, I, I, this dress was a very close second. And honestly, the only reason it wasn't my top pick is because of the this part. But now that I know how to do it, I, I love it even more now. <laughs> so, I don't know how I did, how I did not. It was just a busy day that day, and I just I didn't even think about it. Um, so I love the pleating right here at the waist. It just brings everything in and gives you that hourglass figure. So this material is very rich. It's a, a little bit heavier and a little bit warmer, but not hot, but it's just a heavier material than the other ones that y'all have seen. So this one is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I love that the inside of it's such a bright green, and then there's the outside, but I just love it. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know, Scooby-Doo for some reason. <laughs> But I love this dress. It is so pretty and so comfortable. And thankfully, the buttons don't pop open. You don't have to worry about that at all. Now, this one does not come with a belt. I did not pair it with one only because I really didn't have one that I thought would match. I think if you have an ivory or a beige belt, which I think is kind of hard to find, I think it would be beautiful. But I just love this dress. Again, the colors are beautiful, perfect for fall. And they do have a navy blue one, and this part is baby blue. And I want it so bad, but they are sold out every time I come across it. So I do have it in my wish list. I have it on my watch list. I want the baby blue and the navy. I just think that is so beautiful. And now that I know how to tie the neck, I'll be better off <laughs> the next time around. But I love this dress. It is so, so beautiful. So I have one last dress that I want to show y'all, but I got a compact that I want to talk to y'all about first. So the last compact that I wanted to talk to y'all about and show you is this one from Dorothy Gray. So this particular compact, I, I found an article about vintage. I was just looking up vintage makeup because I like to look at what was around. There, There is one that I am on the hunt for that I will probably never find, but you know, I'll talk about that in a second. But this one is from Dorothy Gray. So she started out just in a small shop somewhere. She's got a really good story and she ended up building this empire of cosmetics and ended up buying a huge, almost skyscraper building on Fifth Avenue. So she made this compact to commemorate her building on Fifth Avenue. And I'll find the picture, I think I have it in my phone, um, the picture of the building that this compact was inspired by. So this is the actual, this is the box that it comes in. So you've got your little hinges here. This is just the box. So you've got your original stickers and everything on here. It is cardboard. So you just open it up and your compact is right here. And then you've got 
her name, Dorothy Gray, Fifth Avenue, at the top. So I love that I actually have the box that it came in. I just think that's great. And then it's beautiful blue on the inside. I just love this box that it came in. And here is the compact. So you have that navy blue in the middle. I know my lights are kind of messing it up, but you do have navy blue here. And then look at the back. It's just that beautiful Art Deco type style. It is just gorgeous. Now it's very heavy. This one is extremely heavy. Push this part in here. And it doesn't look like much. I know it does not look like much, but it is. So you've got your solid silver at the top. There you go. You got your mirror here. This little part sticking up is your lipstick. So you push down on that side. So you push down on this side and the lipstick pops up. See what we got in here. So there's a little metal loop right there that that sits in and secures it. And here's your lipstick. There is your lipstick right here. When you can when you compare this to tubes of lipstick like I have let's see, I have one now. I'll just grab this one. It's a Milani lipstick. So, okay, that's your, basically your regular lipstick that we have now. <laughs> you go. Look at, I mean, that's, how cute is this? I just think it's so cute. It's almost like Polly Pocket style lipstick. <laughs> um, so, here's your little lipstick holder, and then you just pull this open and this is so old y'all i'm not going to be able to get it i'm gonna stick something in there and get some of this out let me see oh that's pretty it's kind of a brick red not not as dark it's it's the lights are making it look a lot brighter but it's a very brick type red it could be because it's extremely old that might be why but it, it's a beautiful color it's absolutely beautiful but it's it's just the cutest thing ever is there's your lipstick. So I just love that. I think it is so pretty. So you just put your lid right back on that up. And then we're going to put it right back where we got it in there. So it just holds it and then you can press it down and it locks into place. Then down here, you have this little hook here. Pull that open and look at her little powder puff. Says Dorothy Gray Fifth Avenue right there on it. It's been used before and there is the blush. This blush is such a pretty color. It's just like this really nice pink berry. I just want to see what it looks like. Hold on. It feels like you're, oh see there it goes. Like the top layer it felt like cardboard, like just a piece of paper or something. But that is so pretty. That is such a pretty color. I just love that. I just love it. I just wonder who used this. I just love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> so you just put that right back in there, close that up, and there you go. And you would just put that in your little handbag. So I just love having this. Um, like I said, I do have one. I actually have two that I'm on the hunt for. Um, one, like I said, is a needle in a haystack. Probably never, ever going to find it. Elizabeth Arden made these kits and I will put a picture of it. There are a few floating around, but I know they are extremely expensive. I can only imagine. So it'll just be a dream of mine to own one. Um, Elizabeth Arden made some beauty kits for, again, wax during the war. So the Women's Army Air Corps. And they were just these adorable, well, I think adorable, but, <laughs> but these kits of everything they would need, you know, they're just for their beauty products. And it, it's, just, I'll just love it. I wish so bad that I could find one, but I got a picture right here. That's my top of my list that I wish I could get, but probably never will. The other one is a compact, it's hands. And if any of y'all buy these or are interested in these, you've probably seen them, but it's hands and it opens like that. And a lot of times it'll have a ring on the outside of it. Um, I did find one on eBay that I thought I was gonna be able to get. Um, but then right at the last minute, it got bid all the way up. I think it ended up at like 300 and something and no, can't do that. But if you, you know, if y'all ever see the ones that are gold, their hands like this, let me know <laughs> as long as they're not terribly expensive. So 
talking about those, those are the last of the compacts I wanted to show y'all in this video. Um, I just wanted to kind of sprinkle in, like I said, some of my favorite things and I'm always on the hunt for these. I do have a lot more that, so if y'all liked seeing them, let me know and I'll add them into something at some point. But I just wanted to show y'all some of my favorites. And speaking of favorites, I'm going to go into the next and last dress because it is my absolute favorite in this video. But before we look at that dress, I wanted to show y'all the shoes. So y'all will probably remember these shoes if y'all have been watching my channel for any a good amount of time. I got these, I think about two years ago, um, I believe from Amazon. I know they're on Amazon, so they'll be linked. Um, but this is the box that they came in. So they are Chase and Chloe. Here they are. Again, I got these maybe, maybe close to three years ago. So again, I pack them up every time I use them, I pack them up. These are the Oxfords, um, yeah, so they're just the multicolored little Oxfords and they are just the cutest. They are so comfortable. I love these shoes. I absolutely love these shoes. I remember I was watching Ra Rachel Maskey, I think is how you say her last name. Um, she really doesn't do a lot of videos anymore. She does more cosplay and stuff like that now, but back then she did tons of vintage and, you know, just... I don't know, it's just different. You know, her, people's channels change and evolve, but back then she did a lot of vintage stuff and she had on a pair of shoes similar to these. Um, she had on a pair of shoes very similar to these and when I found them, I had to get them because they will go with anything, any color combination because they have everything in there. So true to size, I got the eight and a half. No, okay. So these do tend to run a little bit on the smaller side. So I'm typically an eight. Some of my eights have been a little bit too big lately, um, but these are eight and a half and they still fit beautifully. So I would say you might want to size up maybe a half a size in these. Just look at the reviews. That's what you got to go by when it comes to shoes online and all that. But I would say these fit more like an eight. So I would say these eight and a halves fit more like an eight, if that helps. So love these. They just kind of go with everything so I, I am filming a Shein haul probably tomorrow I have to work kind of late but I hope that I can get that filmed for y'all tomorrow and get that up but I will be wearing those again with something else in that haul so the dress that's what y'all are here for the dress so here it is this one is absolutely my favorite it's my husband's favorite and there are I did find some different color combinations kind of floating around out there so many different sites have similar dresses to this one but I cannot speak to the quality of any other ones. I got this one on Amazon. So this dress is beautiful and it's that perfect, like going into fall, cause I'm ready. Cause like I said, today is my birthday and that usually kicks off the middle of hurricane season. And you know what's next, it's fall and I cannot wait. So here it is. Look at the colors. So I, I just sat, I put the belt in there. So here is the dress. So I went with the 2XL in this one. So I have shown y'all a 1XL, an extra extra large, a 2XL, and an extra large in this haul. So all four of these are different sizes, but they all fit the exact same. So measurements, y'all, measurements. So this dress, y'all, you have an invisible zipper here. You've got that cute little collar. It kind of looks like Girl Scouts but in the best possible way, or Boy Scouts, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of, <laughs> some kind of scout. But I love the sleeve on this one. Look at the little turned up sleeve, and then you've got the matching fabric covered buttons. The fabric on these buttons is the exact same as this, so perfect match. I love this dress. It is so pretty and just the cutest it's just the best ever you have belt loops here like i said and you've got a matching belt with the little grommets and buckle this is the prettiest dress ever i'm going to put this down so i can have the trial and part playing over here and i'm going to tell y'all the material probably the same as all the other ones have been 95 polyester and five percent spandex this dress again is so pretty and one thing i did not mention in all of these the armholes were perfect in every one of them um one of, i think the the last one that we just saw with the ivory the bow that i didn't do right um the right sleeve in that one was just a tiny bit too tight but y'all i'm used to it y'all know 
I got in a wreck years ago and this arm is a full inch bigger than this one because of the way that my arm healed. So it's bigger and so what would fit, and I have that problem with my work t-shirts and everything because they'll, they'll be a little bit loose on this arm and throughout the day I'm pulling on this one. <laughs> so it just happens, it's just one of those things, one of those one-off kind of things. But this dress is so beautiful and I would want one in every possible color combination that you could come up with. I just think it's gorgeous. And I loved putting these together. Um, I did find, I'm hoping I can film it soon. It's just time. And so I am planning on showing y'all a few more pieces that I got just kind of randomly. I'll try to fit it into something. Maybe a get ready with me. Um, but whoop shop, I, got, <laughs> I took a chance because I had no idea anything about that company. Um, and I found them online and they didn't have hardly any reviews, but y'all, their customer service was great. Shipping was fast. I got, they, they don't, they didn't provide it or anything. I just bought them, but I have two vintage style dresses that I got from them. Um, and they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. So I'll try to fit those into a get ready with me because it has been a long time since I did one of those and I miss talking to y'all. But y'all, I, I know this video is probably going to be long because I've been talking and carrying on, but it's been so long since I really sat and talked to y'all. And I'm glad I got to show y'all some of my favorite things outside of clothing hauls and all of that. But I do have lots of vintage compacts that y'all have not seen. So if you did like this or just me mixing it in with stuff, just let me know. I know that that's not for everybody, but I just like to show y'all other things that I'm, I'm interested in. And as soon as I can get the time to repair or at least repaint the one or just a little part of it i will share that with y'all because um i'm really i don't want to mess it up but my daddy told me exactly what i needed to do he builds a lot of model cars and stuff you know and i think i think i got it figured out so once i get that done i'll give y'all an update here or post it on something i'll let you know but y'all i wanted to tell y'all too before i close this video out thank y'all so much for being here and spending your time with me and sharing my videos and you know, commenting and liking and all of that. I see everybody's comment. Um, lately, it's been really hectic with work and just everything. And I, I feel so bad because I, I don't get to reply back as much as I used to, but hopefully I can get caught up with that. And I have, if y'all could see over here, I have like four hauls worth of clothes hanging up over here. <laughs> um, so I just got, you know, I'm doing like six, seven days straight before I get a day off. It's just kind of working out that way. So I'm trying to squeeze in videos wherever I can. So I, I do work the next, I think, five days and then I'll have a day off, but I'm gonna try to squeeze in some of these hauls for y'all. I'm gonna, planning on doing one tomorrow for Shein and um, just so I can get caught up and kind of spend a little bit more time with y'all because I do miss it. I miss it. I love my job, but I do miss it. <laughs> but y'all, thank y'all so much. It, it, this past year has meant so much to me. Um, I don't really go by, you know, my years being January. I go by my, my years, my, my birthday year. <laughs> so this past year, 42 was really great and y'all have been really good to me and I've just loved spending time with y'all and, and growing with y'all. And it's just, it's been great. So I'm really excited for whatever 43 has to offer. Um, we have a few trips planned, like road trips, because I don't like to fly, but I love road trips. So we have, um, we're going to another con in October. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we are wanting to go to Dollywood in November, I hope. And y'all know, Y'all know how much I love Dolly Parton, so, and, I, and neither of us have ever been to Dollywood, so we're hoping that I can slip away from work in November. It's blacked out because it's retail holiday, but I'm hoping that we can kind of work it out my two days off the one week and just go. So, okay, so I'm going to stop babbling now, and y'all, thank you so much for being here, spending your time with me. I really appreciate y'all. Um, I love doing this. I love sharing things with y'all. So if you liked the vintage pieces and the vintage inspired dresses, please let me know because they're really my favorite things to do and I just I love them. So y'all, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a wonderful year and on to the next. So, <laughs> so until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other and I will see you soon.